Hey guys, thank you for tuning in here to another video on the channel. Guess what we got today? Yep, these nuts just got a package. That's right, you, you did not read this wrong, guys. These nuts got a package today. All right, so sorry we had to black out the stuff because we just moved to a new office location and I don't need people finding out where my new office is at, so we had to black it out. So yeah. Um, all right, so let's see here. We opened the package already, so we're gonna see what's in here. We're gonna open this up, guys, and see how this presentation is for what it is. So let's open this up real quick. Sorry about this, guys. We're doing this holding the phone with one hand, doing it on the other side. I forgot the tripod with me. All right, let's put this here so we don't litter out here. All right, let's see if we can get this out. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry about the delay to getting this out, but somehow it is tightly packed in here. Oh, guys, look at look at what just came in. So thanks to the, the generous person that sent this package to me. You know, I greatly appreciate it. This is the new Mobile X. As you can see right here, BU. They included a sticker. Now, where's the shirt at, Mobile X? Where's the shirt at? You know, I thought you guys would have sent the, you know, an XL and a large shirt, you know, send one of each, you know, it would be greatly appreciated. But here it is. Here's the Mobile X stuff. Let's, I got the phone right here that we're going to set it up on my old iPhone 13 Pro. So let me pop the SIM in real quick, guys, get this going and we'll be right back. Here's the Mobile X SIM. So let's get this going. We're going to do it all. Huh interesting they got strong adhesive so let's see here this is what the sim card looks like right there it says mobile x there's a little card it comes with all sizes as we just we just need the little one so we'll take that aside we'll take the sim card we're going to put the sim card in the slot tray so let's get this going All right, let me put the password on my phone. Okay, so let's see here. Does it register anything? It might not, I might need to turn on Wi-Fi on my phone hotspot and give us a connection. Yep, it looks like we're gonna have to give it a connection. So let's set it up. Let's see here, Wi-Fi. There we go. All right, let's turn off the low data mode so we can get faster speeds. Okay, now let's open up the Mobile X app. As you can see, profile, these nuts. Okay, we got the app downloaded. But, guys, what you have to do is download this thing called Test Flight. So here, we'll just we'll just go through it like if we're going to scan the damn thing and do it all from scratch because I already did that part at least. So you would go here, scan the QR code to get the mobile data X beta. You will need the Apple's Test Flight thing. So you download the Test Flight. Okay, so whatever. We already have it, but... And then on the test flight, I'll have you download right here the Mobile X Smart Access. You would hit accept. It's already downloaded. Then you open, and then there you go. All right, so now here we'll go activate service. Okay. Get started. I already have a SIM. Sorry, guys, ended up getting a phone call. So basically, it shows here these nuts and where are you? Okay, we're gonna put a random address. Let's see here. Um, oh, what's a random address? Uh, let's see here. So, here we'll put the address to my old business that I had, my the old pizzeria. Yeah, 2389 East. Yep, there we go. We can put that address to the old pizzeria that I used to own. So, I just put that. And 
and then set up payment method, whatever. Okay, now you got to enter the phone IMEI and the ICC ID. Let me put this in real quick, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so once you enter your IMEI stuff, this is what it pops up to for the ICC ID. It actually opens up the camera app and you're able to scan the barcode, which makes it pretty convenient. It's nice. Okay, so now this is your current mobile provider. This is if you're going to port your number, you know, and it gives you the, the options to a lot of carriers for even Freedom Pop, Google Fi, like a mobile, Republic Wireless. It doesn't have Dish Wireless yet. Okay. Uh, Total Wireless, Track Phone, Twig B, Walmart. Family Mobile, Xfinity H2O. So, like, if you wanted to port, you'd select whatever. But we're just going to get a new number. Let's see here. No available numbers for zip code 89123. Oh, my God. I've A lot of people were actually telling me this is an issue that they were having with this. That supposedly they're not able to get phone numbers. This is a problem right here, guys. This is a big problem. So, let me go back here real quick. Let me see here if I can do it actually while... Okay, so now we're going to have to select a different address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up like an address somewhere else and see if I can get a phone number from another place because it seems like this is not going to work out having a phone number from Las Vegas. So let's hear. Let me see here. Let me do a perump address here real quick. Uh, what's the what's the address to my land out there? Uh God, I can't remember the, the address. I think it's... Uh, there we go. Let's see if that works. Okay. Nope. Can't show that part. Okay, get a new phone number. There you guys go. You got to find literally an area with a phone number. So let's see here. So I'm not going to show you which number I selected, but let's see here. Okay, so basically then it comes up to this right here. Boom. Shows you your phone number. You blah, blah, blah this. And then you just hit confirm activate. Let's see here. We're going to Oh my god, so this popped up. IMEI is active on another line. Oh my god. You got to be kidding. So, let's edit the IMEI real quick. Hold on. Let me do this and I'll be right back, guys. Also, guys, I forgot so before I ended up going back because I'm having issues with IMEI issues. I don't know why it's giving me this issues, but you got to make sure guys that you go to app settings, go to mobile network profile, and then you download the APN profile for mobile X. And then once that's done, then you would go to settings, general about, or not about, I'm sorry, general settings, then the VPN device management, then you would go mobile X APN, and then you would hit up here install, and it'll have you enter the password of your device. Okay, the network traffic of your iPhone may be filtered, monitored by cellular configuration. Okay, install, install, and there you go, done. So now their APN setting is literally right there, set up. So now let me go back to the actual thing, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so now we just finished activating this, but we had to get the Galaxy S22 Ultra out. Uh, basically, something went wrong with the iPhone activation. Uh, it went to saying something about MNO error. So I submitted a ticket to CARE, and honestly, I'll give credit to CARE. They literally hit me up like within two minutes on my phone. I put my phone number. I was like, I don't want to I don't want to chat with nobody. I just want somebody to call me right now, please. And they literally called me within two minutes after I sent the message. So kudos to the care team. They actually are on point. Two minute response time is actually pretty damn good. I'll give them credit. But I had a second SIM. They tried to help me out. They had to submit the ticket to the higher up to get the 
the iPhone situation going. But the good thing is that I did have another SIM and we put it on the S22 Ultra. You know, they, you know, they said we should try it and it worked. So this is what it'll show once you succeeded and everything went successful. There you go, you close. And then there you go. We have to create a whole new account. So it says here, my status, 0% learning period. So there you guys go. Now it has to provision. Oh, another thing too. Let's see here, we're gonna go on the app settings. We gotta make sure we put the APN. So it says here, copy the mobile X APN. This is for the Android. In your phone settings, go to access point names and then you gotta enter that. Name you put mobile X. And then you put this and then you save it and there you go all right let me get this done and we'll be right back oh another thing guys so you know how the samsung boots up with all the every carrier you know it'll have your reboot or whatever so when i popped the mobile xm in it booted up the verizon uh cs cs uh was it csi or whatever i can't even remember of it right now the csc file there you go so you can't it won't let you add because the Verizon one doesn't let you add so what you do is you just edit this one and then since I copied the APN then you would just erase this one and just copy the one that they want to hit OK save and there you go there's your mobile X APN all right let's get I'm gonna reboot this phone and we'll be right back all right, guys, now that we got everything working with Mobile X, all right, so here you guys go. Let me clear this here real quick. So as you guys see right here, Mobile X versus Verizon. So these are both S22 Ultras, all right? So let's test uh, Mobile X, even though the speed test still shows Verizon. 66 ping, four jitter. And this is connected to N77. Let me see here, I'll pop it up real quick. There you guys go, N77 with the four tenths. So it's 269 down. I don't know, it seems like they got some sort of cap on it, on, on the N77. So 269 by 65.3. Now let's test Verizon postpaid. 27 ping for jitter. And look at that. Seven thirty two down. and 76.1 on the upload so guys it seems like they have the video or not the video it seems like they got the speeds capped on the n77 right here because there you go this is uh very interesting right here let me see if i can take a screenshot of this to post on on the twitter lands right here there you go all right so let's see here Let's do, let's open up the Mobile X app. And let's see if we can change the video optimization. Let's see here, profile, uh, payment orders, wish list, no. How do you do this? Access, unknown error. Your 30 day access pricing video optimization default up to 4k okay so right now it's up to 4k so confirm we'll just reconfirm it oh you can pause service or exit service that's pretty cool change your access pricing get a new use forecast top off your data reserve and then compare okay so you know, it does the 10 day learning period, guys. So you gotta give it the 10 days. So now let's do a fast. See what the fast is doing on this. See, is it actually uncapped?
Oh, wow. So it's capped at 50. Let's do a test one more time. As you guys saw, it's, uh, it's at 4K. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, guys. See here, it keeps the test still going. Okay, so 66. Now let's do Verizon postpaid. To me, this is 4K right here, 4K and beyond, uncapped video, so 570. So, I don't know, guys. This is um, this is real interesting right here. Let me take a picture of this too, real quick while we're here. But other than that, guys, yeah, I'm gonna continue testing mobile legs. Go through the period. I'm gonna test call quality. Actually, yeah, let's test call quality. You know what? Why not? So we're gonna call a basic number. Let's see here. Let's see how it sounds. See if you guys pick it up on the mic. Thank you for calling the Rio All Saints Hotel and Casino. For room reservations, please press one. For restaurant reservations, please press two. For the box office, please press three. For okay, so that was the quality on on uh, how do you call it? Mobile X. So now let's see regular Verizon. Same number. I don't know guys it sounds a lot clearer on the on the regular Verizon postpaid so I don't know guys we're I'm gonna continue testing and we'll figure it out but that's how you set up your mobile X that's how you get it going my iPhone is still not working so they, uh, the tech support, which is real, they're real nice people, whoever they are, they're real nice people, but they said that it will take 24 hours for them to figure out on my iPhone line. And another thing, if you want to have multiple lines, guys, you've got to set up multiple accounts. You can't just do it all in one yet. So no family plan either. But other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. We greatly appreciate y'all. We're going to keep doing some more testing on this, and we're going to catch you in the next one. All right, guys, take it easy. Thank you to all the channel members for love and support, as always, and peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.